daily update, August 14th, 15th, 16th, I'm not really sure of the day. Uh, let's see, we had lots of things today. The Leon Corey showed up today, and Glenn Eno, and they worked together and got the electric buried. Uh, so this is the this is the new cable for the house. There's one neutral, and they're uh, they're pretty beefy. So you have an idea. That's the cable that goes into the house. It's just all strung out right now at the moment, but uh, pushed it in through here. This is where we'll come out of the ground and go up the pole. Dug this up, went down. It comes out over here. There's also red caution tape laid in the ground. Uh, so it says, you know, electric line, do not dig, etc. Um, this will get punched in, and this other one is for the telephone, you know, and internet, etc. The plumber was here today. They worked on getting the well put in place. Or, not the well, but the, um, getting the pressure tank put in. They recommended getting a bigger pressure tank, and I just looked at them and said, not in the budget, use the existing one. Uh, Leon and his guys also dug this out. This is down to a depth of, uh, to accommodate a five inch slab and a four foot, uh, wall footing there so that we can extend this out properly. We used up a chunk, a chunk of the wood today. We were bringing, uh, taking a load of firewood down and the cotter pin came out of the, came out of the, the, the hitch, the ball on the Land Rover, and so I'm coming down the road, and the, the trailer's just going all over the place, and fortunately I found the bigger pin, and then I just, I made something up for it. Uh, we're doing plywood today on the front, and we were making good progress uh, until we got to this last, the last board standing up. Uh, we didn't have, we don't have a four foot or a six foot level, so we just put one nail in it to hold it in place. Then we started on the second row to get it coming across so we make sure that everything's lying just flush. Um, I ripped a whole bunch of old scrap wood that, you know, you can see was from something else. But we ripped it so it's all a half an inch. And what it's doing is helping to minimize this, this gap. Oh, oh, I stepped on a nail. I'm going surfing. Come on. Um, so you can see the the plywood is a half inch itself, and it'll stick out another half, making this this gap significantly less. As we get further down, uh, it actually brought it flush in some places. So this is good. I know it. You know, there's a combination of things getting squirrely and. It rained, and then it got sunny, and it went back and forth, blah, 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 blah. But um, we do have the, the Z channel, or the weather stripping, whatever you want to call it, to, you know, to go through all of that and correct it. But we've got a good chunk up there. This ladder has had little cracks in it uh, for a while that I've noticed, but the workers were up there, and they really noticed some not good stuff. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. My eyes can see it. But right... Right in there... I can see daylight through the ladder and there's about a 10 inch thick crack and there's a couple of hairline things. Uh, so I just, I just emailed TC and asked her to purchase a new one. We've had this for a while. It was made back in 91. And uh, so, perhaps it's due for, <laughs> it's time for a new one. Uh, the guys were just, they were really wiggy being up there today. And I can't blame them, even though we have a, a harness system. You know, it's not designed so you can just hold on it. And this one is from 91. So, a little bit newer, but not necessarily a lot. But I haven't seen any cracks in this one. The aluminum one. Yeah, I'm not going to string it up that far. I'm not that brave. But I have this nice walk plank. We've got some stuff going up. 
Uh, that was good. These windows were all nailed in. We had some serious thunderstorms uh, over the weekend. It blew that one in, and when that one went in and stuck out that way, it ejected that window out all the way to there. Uh, it didn't... I, there's only a, a couple of things that I found that came down here and there. This branch right by the mailbox, this came down. A chunk of this tree right here came down. That's right, that's right, I need to show it. Came down, landed on the Land Rover, or at least part of it. Gave it a good pop. Uh, the tree came in, hit it there. Scratch a bumper a little bit, but that's gonna that's gonna rust. So I'm, I'll I don't know if I can find matching paint. I'll look, but I'll try to do something. But that dent is there. Thank you, tree, for walloping the truck. Looks like it took it there too. But that came from uh, this this tree right in the front. It broke, I don't know, halfway up. I can't see it from this side yet. In general, this tree is not looking great. There you go. It came off of that dead chunk right there. And it just left bark and all over the place. But this is what came down. It's very dead. A renter would not be happy if that was, uh, if that was their vehicle. Enough said on that. Uh, a couple of branches fell down by the storage units down that way. And this one fell enough to fall down, but not enough to remove itself. It's, it's still on there. So uh, once it's dried up a little more, I'll get an extension ladder up there, or I'll climb it up with the little electric chainsaw and do something about it. This piece also fell down from somewhere. I assume someone moved it out of the road. They must have, because it didn't just fall there so neatly. Uh, but we were rocking and rolling. Big time. Big time. Um, who else did we add? The electrician was here. The plumber was here. That's right. I want to go in the basement. I want to show you what's going on in the basement. The lawnmower, I fix the lawnmower and the lawnmower breaks. And I fix the lawnmower more and it breaks. And I fix it more and it breaks. And so I had to, re I fixed the whole uh, mandrel blade housing and everything. And it worked well for about 15, 20 minutes. And then the deck cracked. And I'm just going, maybe this is, this tractor's beyond, beyond the point of saving. I don't know. I haven't even looked into how much a new deck would cost or how much effort it would take to repair such a deck. Oh, down the stairs. There we go. So we have uh, some electric lines are now brought down. These black pipes, I'm aware that it's dark down here. These black pipes are for water and electric, so they've partially hooked up the water tank. Yes, I know it's dark, and I apologize for that. I don't have a light in here. That's the in-floor radiant. Here's the issue. The bathroom on the second floor is is right right up there. You can see, there's the toilet hole that has to get uh, edited a little bit. But the water, the toilet water, has to come down to the basement to flow out of the house. The issue is, it's a four inch pipe and none of the walls up on the first floor are very conducive to it working. The 
version that I worked out with the plumber that would go best is to go towards the dining room wall, come down, da -da 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 -da, come down right here between these, these, uh, this stud and this post, come down, then drill through, 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 turn the wall through. There's his pipe that he can access. It's a lot of couplings, it's a lot of work, it's a pain in the butt, blah, 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 blah. Right, fine. It'll work. He, they just don't want to put in all, you know, it's, it's tedium. It's a lot of tedious work for that to happen. What he wants, wants me to propose, which I will propose it, is... Remember, there's, there's the toilet that I showed you from downstairs. There's also one here. There's, right, for all this bathroom. He wants to pull all these pipes together, come across, and then come down right here, but outside of this, and then have some diagonal built-in built wall so that it's never seen. I told him, ha ha, yeah, right, not going to happen. He also floated all kinds of ideas in the basement of having a bathroom with only an eight-foot ceiling so he could get his pipes through. And I just said, look, it has to be hidden. It needs to be to the drawings. That's what we're looking for. You know, make it work. But he asked me to float it to you, so I'm floating it to you. <laughs> but I need a response. I need to know what you think, what you don't think, etc., etc. We do have some electric lines that are coming in. There's a nice little wrap, so you can see it is making its way. Glenn's been here two days now. He works by himself, but he's getting it done. Um, I've been calling Green Mountain Power. I've left three messages now with Chris or Christina. Oh, of course, I can't remember her last name, but she's the person to coordinate getting the house uh, reconnected so that we have permanent electricity in the house. Uh, I was hoping for it sooner than later, but we'll see where that, we'll see where that ends up. Sorry, there we go. I'm just turning the electricity off. <sighs> was there anything else? George said he's still working on, um, he's working on some fixture things that I asked him for. He's working on some drawings. I asked him for good work on those. Paychecks have arrived two weeks in a row on time. Woohoo, that's great, awesome. Um, fixtures, he's working on fixtures. I might go down to Kingston this weekend and check out Emily's planer, though, if we go with wood, I would prefer that the mill planes them, and all we have to do is stain it or seal it. Um, it just it saves a lot on us, and ultimately it would be cheaper and probably more professionally done if he does it himself because that's his his profession. That's what he does. <clears throat> there was a lot today. There was a lot. Leon Corey still doesn't have prices for us. His son said he's super overworked, and I said that's nice, but we need prices. Man said he's he's almost there. He's getting it. Blah blah blah. Oh, there's got there was. I should have written it all down. Well, that's all I can think of at the moment. House wrap. No. Check your emails. There's questions I've been asking. We need to make a siding decision soon. Uh. Oh. I, I, I'm sure as soon as I stop this, there'll be something else. Anyway, enjoy, and uh, we'll talk to you later. It's getting done. All right, bye.